Okay, this is going to become um, an underdash mount for our AC vents. Uh, so we're going to fold a flange over here. We're going to use a piece of pipe. And basically what I do is uh, put a line up top so you can actually see where you're hitting. So if you go too far, you can actually pull it closer against the edge and hammer the edge back to where it belongs. And we'll do that going all the way around. You'll see I missed that one, so I'll push it out a little farther. And get it exactly where it needs to be. And we'll get this from here to here folded over at about a 30 to 40 degree angle and then start working on the inside corners. Kind of join them together a little bit. Okay, on the inside corners, we have a whole lot of stretch to do right here. So, uh, and then we're gonna have to tip it over on that line. So what we're gonna do first is start to stretch. I've got a barrel end hammer here that I'm using. And I'm gonna focus on the inside part. After you start getting a little bit of stretch, then you can come in here and then find where your edge is to go ahead and start bending it over. Okay, now that we've got both of them down at about a 30 degree angle or so, we're gonna join the straight section together and we're gonna put that right on the edge. And then do the same thing over here and that'll let us see where we're at with the uh, inside corner. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to put this back in here. Okay, now we're going to need a whole lot more stretch here. So I'm getting this where I can uh, hammer that edge again. And you can see that's starting to bring that on around. And that'll take a little bit more fine tuning, but that's just about where we and want Now them. we've got the corners real close to where we want them. And we're gonna catch up with this. This is basically just gonna form some, uh, some tuck shrinking. Um, you're gonna bring them closer and closer and just get some tucks formed and basically just keep going back and forth, hammering the high spots.
Okay, we're fine tuning our edge one more time and we're gonna go around once more. Doing some tuck shrinking. You can see the high spot pop up and you just try to work that back down again. Okay, this is uh, the basic shape that we have now. This top flange is gonna get folded back so it'll uh, bolt up from underneath the dash. Then we're gonna put a band in here uh, around the complete perimeter to kind of bring this back a little bit more and it'll be welded along that seam. Um, this needs some fine tuning, shrinking a little bit here and there, but that's the basic process of doing both the uh, tuck shrinking around the outside and linear stretching on an inside corner to give you a shape like that. All right, this is gonna be our band that's gonna go around the outside of it, and we'll go ahead and TIG weld that together. But that's basically uh, what it's gonna look like hanging underneath the dash. And then once this is welded, the weld's dressed on the backside, we'll go ahead and, and bend this over right here, and it'll have some screws going, or bolts going up through the bottom of the dash to hold that. And that'll be our AC vent.